To set up the He3D K2AD Watch Crunchy Sans He3D Part 1 video on YouTube, follow along and then watch this video. After watching his Part 1 video, you'll notice he uses a BL Touch sensor for bed leveling, rather than one of these Z probes that's provided with newer He3D models. This one is more like a membrane switch, whereas the BL Touch has an actual button that's triggered. This means we have to change a few things in our firmware, but it's not too bad. So follow along his entire Part 1 video, download his firmware, but before you flash it onto your motherboard, refer to this video and I'll show you what numbers to change first. I have the firmware file open in Arduino. Over here, I have the list of all the lines of code we're going to change. I start by navigating to the configuration.h page. I hold Ctrl and press F to bring up the text finder, and I'm going to copy and paste feature auto level. You want to make sure this is set to 1. This will enable the auto leveling feature. Next, we have end stop, z min, inverting. Hit find. This is currently set to false. We want to change this to true. This is because the BL touch and our z probes give opposite high and low readings. Continue down the list by copying and pasting these values, which will be in the description, into your own configuration.h page. First things first, this is actually supposed to be 15. Before I set you free to paste these new values into your code, I'll explain why I changed a few of them. The first changes I want to explain are Z-probe X offset and Z-probe Y offset. This negative 22 and 14 are accurate for the BL touch because it's not located directly under the nozzle. It's offset 22 millimeters in the X direction and 14 in the Y direction. Our probes are located directly under the nozzle, so our values need to be zero. Next is distortion correction R, or radius. I lowered mine to 80 because the printer kept trying to probe an area that was bigger than the actual build plate. When measuring distortion with the Z-probe, the probe would move too far to the side and completely miss the glass. Your value may end up being a bit different than mine, but this is what worked for me. Another issue I faced is the printer wasn't probing near the middle of the bed. It was always probing off to one side, so I had to change these four values distortion x-min, y-min, x-max, and y-max until it started probing around the center of the glass. Your values may be different, or they may be the same, but play with these until it's probing in the middle. Next I had to reverse the direction of the extruder motor by enabling extruder 0 and extruder 1 inverse by putting a 1 next to them instead of a 0. This is because my extruder was retracting filament rather than extruding it. Repetier Host lets you pick Extruder 0 or Extruder 1. I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, so I set up both just in case. Last, I'll explain and stop X, Y, and Z back on home. I set all three of these to zero, so when the printer homes itself, the X, Y, and Z carriages won't drop 60 millimeters like the original firmware has set up. This is completely optional. You're now free to copy and paste these values into your firmware Flash that onto your motherboard, and then follow Crunchy Sans Part 2 video, and you should be set up. You've probably noticed I made upgrades to my printer. If you want these links, go to flintindustries.org, and on the 3D printing page, there's a whole K280 section that has these links and the K280 setup videos from Crunchy Sawn. If you run into any problems, feel free to message me through my website or email justin at flintindustries.org. Thank you.